Note, the fans and people, all around the world, is absolutely stunned, of what they had just bear witness to, here tonight, in, Elgo, Nevada. So when round two began, since your order to his opponent, while putting back on his blindfold, the hip from hell, I want to respectfully introduce you to, Goddamn Rhino the, fucking, warrior, boom 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 crack, he hit him with a four combo haymaker, crack 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 boom, and another seven deadly sins of combos to the chest stomach and the right side of his face, knock 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 pop 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 ring rock knock, and for the third time, he rocked him with the X10 fist delay of Ivy Blind Damn Duke's Killmakers. King Xavier, my savior. Both of his eyes are completely shut. He's bloodied and bruised up. Bam, 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 pop, 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 rock, rock, boom, 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 pow, pow. And he goes down. The fans are loving it. Listen to the crowd scream, cheer, and roar. This arena tonight is on fire. Your savior is not getting up. Ding, ding, ding. And there's the bell. The fight is over. The next scene takes place in 1985. In the country of Shanghai, China, there was a talented, skillful Wing Chun. Chi Sao professional boxer named Brandon Bruce Bricks blindfold. His ethnicity is Chinese, Micronesia, Korean, Japanese, and Indonesia. He weighs 211 pounds. His height is 6 foot 1 inches 12. The color of his boxing gloves, shorts, shoes, headband, wristband, and ankle band are maroon red, dark jet black, with bright white trim. His professional boxing career status rating is 23 knockouts, 23 wins, and 0 losses. His boxing career professional name is The Hundred Hamadan. His body shape looks like a humongous unbreakable gigantic solid muscle bone. I'd be blind damn dukes. Needs to be extremely alarmed and alert. When it comes time to battling him in the ring. This area of the movie shows Brandon blindfold. Doing the most impossible, unthinkable, encounter to work out exercise trails. Ever done, nor seen before. Such as, carrying three car tires above his head while jogging in place. Doing push-ups with a 65-pound sandbag across his back. Doing jumping jacks with a rope of barbells hanging from his neck. Doing sit-ups with his legs crossed and tied together. Punching a punching bag with a fool of solid bricks. And riding a treadmill and a 10-speed bike backwards. He was born on December 11, 1967. He is the grandson of June and Jean Blindfold. Brandon's parents are Brandy, Bryson, Bernice, Blindfold, and Brooks, Brandon, Briston, Blindfold, and his brothers, sisters, uncles, and aunties are Blake, Brunson, Brunson, Blindfold, Brent, Brian, Bison, Blindfold, Jonah, Jean, Janessa, Blindfold, Jill, Jubilee, Jessica, Blindfold, Jones, Jason, Jackie, Blindfold, Jaden, Jada, Kama, Jalen, Blindfold, Bristol, Bernina, Barbara, Blindfold, and Brooklyn, Brianna, by Selena, Blindfold, and then it goes into the next scene, showing at least half of the opponents, of Sincere's, and Brandon's, unbelievable astounding TKO, knockouts, and fantastic amazing outstanding, through the merciless of combos, flashing back and forth, at a fast speed, and then the movie goes back, in the year of, 1968, this scene is when, Sincere's, mother and his biological father first met, his mother is a RN registered nurse, and his father is a very highly knowledgeable, perceptive, science genius, chemistry anatomy biology antidotes inventor, his father's name is, Dr. Sensei, your highness, Black Rose, and his mother's name is, Dr. Saturday, amazing, Black Rose, the cause and separation of the divorce, between Mr. and Mrs. Black Rose, was because, Mr. Black Rose had gotten substantial evidence, from a friend of his and hers, told Dr. Black Rose, that is why it's been acting unethical and unprofessional during her, workly, duties, with a male patient, this had took place when Sincere was four and a half, after that happened, he got a divorce from Mrs. Black Rose, because she had decided to, pursue and establish a relationship with, Mr. Saxon Schmidt, you know how they say, that great minds think alike, well, it happens to be true, June and Jean blindfold, and, Sincere's biological father, Dr. Black Rose, created and invented the exact same antidote symptom serum solution, and not only that, they named this symptom weapon the same name, Dukes of Darkness, and then the movie speeds up into the year, 2008, in this period time frame, Sincere has won 68 wins by technical knockout, and still he's the heavyweight boxing champion of the world, this scene is when President Obama, wins the election to become the world's first African American president, and wants to personally invite boxing champion, Sincere Tobias Black Rose, to the White House, so, Sincere went to the White House to meet, President Obama, and he also has a boxing match in Washington DC, his next fight is against an excellent remarkable fighter named, Parker, Thomas, Mayfield, the fourth, his professional boxing career name is, The Uppercut, King, his ethnicity is, Caucasian, Irish, Indian, British, and Dominican, he's from, Paradise Valley, Arizona, he weighs, 231 pounds, his height is, 6 foot 6 feet 12, he's muscular built, 
with big huge broad shoulders and very long arms, his boxing gloves, shorts, and shoes are, dark red, medium gray, and bright shiny gold. His professional boxing career status rating is, 53 knockouts, 3 losses, 5 draws, and 2 disqualifications. He was born on, August 9, 1969 since Black rose before the bell done. He placed on his blindfold, then swung at the air, twice with his right fist, and then with his left fist as well. Parker Mayfield before the bell down to began the fight. He was interpreting sign language to the crowd saying, Once you get hit by the uppercut king, you wish you hadn't got in the ring. With the tragedy I bring, then the crowd went berserk, and started screaming and chanting, Uppercut king put him in a dream, 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 uppercut king put him in a dream. Ding, and there's the bell, for the beginning of the first round of the fight. I be behind down Duke's dodge to powerful left jab towards the right side of the face, by the uppercut king, but here comes I be behind down, Duke's with a massive tornado combination of lethal combos, to the face, stomach, shoulders, chest, and to the rib cage, of Parker Mayfield. Boom 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 Ding ding ding, and that was the sound of the bell. This fight was over before it started. And then it goes into the scene, where Sincere, his wife, and kids, all take a family summer vacation, to Valencia, California, to try out the most exhilarating roller coaster amusement park called, Six Flags Magic Mountain. As they were enjoying their summer family getaway, just so happened, three super famous celebrities, were also there at the same amusement park, with their families as well. These three celebrities are, Mike Tyson, Tom Brady, and Jamie Foxx. All of them were congratulating him, of his success and achievements that he accomplished, through all his entire professional boxing career. After that very thankful rewarding conversation, Sincere and all of their families, huddled up together, and took a family celebrity group photo. Then the movie speeds up again, into the year, 2016. This year will be I be behind down Duke's last and final fight, of his boxing career. Two weeks before his last farewell fight, this scene is showing Sincere, shaking hands, talking in interviews, signing autographs, and working out at his gym. His last opponent is from Matanzas, Cuba. His birth name is Alejandro Alfonso Antonio Cortez Jr. He weighs 239 pounds. His height is 6 foot 7 and a half inches tall. His ethnicity is Cuban, Hispanic, Dominican, Brazilian, Italian, and Danish. His professional boxing career status rating is 74 knockouts, 74 wins, 8 losses, and 10 draws. His professional boxing career name is God of the Club. He was born on April 20th, 1970, his muscles look like a very hard solid iron metal with big large gigantic humongous bricks. Before the fight, Sincere said to himself, Number 99 here I come, and Antonio Cortez Jr. raised his left fist up in the air and uttered, God forgive me for what I am about to do. Then he said, Let there be light. Ding, and there's the bell for round one. Both opponents are trading a collision number of iniquitous blows, of body shots, striking the torso like a bass drum then beaten to death. Boom boom bang 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 pop pop rock rock crack crack knock knock bow bow bang bang swap swap pow pow boom boom kaboom kaboom. Both sliders are continuously going at it non-stop. Ding ding ding. That's the end of round one. Round two, three, four, and round five were somewhat similar to round one. Round six, since you unleashed a deadly right hook to the left temple of Cortez's head and dropped him like a bad habit. But he gets right back up before the bell. Ding. And there's the bell for round seven. God of the glove throws a super quick left jab. But Sincere dodged out of the way with ease, while showing off his spectacular amazing acrobatic footwork, and then I be behind damn Duke's left and right fist, started to increase to a greater enlargement size, of a basketball, both of his boxing gloves, were glowing a bright shiny metallic gold silver and blue color, then he uttered out loudly with confidence, call me I be behind damn Duke's, then struck his adversary with a super duper powerful harsh full unhinged double uppercut, directly beneath the chin, of his opponent, oh man oh man, he is down I repeat, he is down, he knocked out his mouthpiece, and a tooth as well. Ding ding ding. This fight is now over. Since you're just won his last and final professional boxing career boxing match, he's now won his 99th boxing match. Till next time, this is Dan Fisher, Chris Davenport, Blake Stewart, and my good friend John, Call Pepper. This is Pro Sports Boxing Pay Per View Network Premium Plus. To all the fans around the world, we'll be seeing you. Take care. Then the movie shows, Since Your Black Rose five and a half years later, coming out of retirement and returning back to the ring to revenge his boxing title, and also to donate, this boxing match fight, towards the less fortunate, and the homeless. The welcome back to the ring fight, is taking place in, Shanghai, China. His opponent is, Brandon Blindfold, aka, The Hundred Hamanan. Before the fight, Sincere put on his blindfold and said to himself, Number 100, I am, coming for you, in Chinese.
Brandon Blindfold said to crowd tonight.